Hello and welcome to this Call Scotland tutorial which will look at the on-screen keyboard in Windows 7. If you're unfamiliar with an on-screen keyboard, it is unlike a physical keyboard. Instead, an on-screen keyboard is a floating keyboard which you can access from the computer desktop. An on-screen keyboard can be useful for someone who is unable to use a standard keyboard but can access the on-screen keyboard with a mouse or a trackable a switch access system or even a combination of both. So to get started, the easiest way to find the on-screen keyboard in Windows 7 is to press and hold the Windows key and the U key together. So that's the Windows key and the U keys together. This activates the Ease of Access Center in Windows 7. So you can see now that the Windows on-screen keyboard is here. So I can either select it with a mouse or I can press the ALT plus key, key keys, so that's ALT plus key keys. So now you can see the Windows on-screen keyboard. First of all, it's possible to resize and place the on-screen keyboard anywhere on the desktop. So now I'm going to open Notepad, but the on-screen keyboard will work alongside any Windows application. So the first thing to do is to go to Options and select options you either need for yourself or for the person you're helping. The default option is to click on Keys and as you can see you can either use an auditory prompt or you can choose not to. But notice also down at the bottom on the Options panel there is an option to use Text Prediction and to insert a space after the word is predicted. This is a new feature for the on-screen keyboard and could be useful for a range of learners who wish to increase their typing speed and accuracy. So I'm going to tick or choose these options and demonstrate them on the on-screen keyboard with text, text prediction and the space inserted. So you can see that only with one or two or more keystrokes words are being predicted. However, not all learners are able to use the mouse to click or to click a letter or a word. The on-screen keyboard also features a hover or dwell feature. This means that the user doesn't need to click the mouse but simply hovers the mouse or hovers the icon over the key for the desired time. And you can set up the hover duration in the options panel. This option could be useful for learners who possibly use a trackable or an alternative or adapted mouse, such as a joystick. An additional option is the scan through keys. In this option, the user can use either the spacebar or key of the choice on the on-screen keyboard or with an external device such as a joystick or even a switch. But if you use a switch it will require software to be installed on the computer. So now you can see the scanning option which again the speed can be increased or decreased depending on the experience of the learner. So one final thing I'd like to mention is that you can also use the Windows on-screen keyboard alongside Windows Narrator which I'll be covering at depth at a later stage. Windows Narrator is a basic text-to-speech application but it will speak aloud the keys on the keyboard but only after the key has been pressed. Although it isn't the best option some learners may find it helpful to have auditory feedback when typing letters. You can access Narrator in the same way as the on-screen keyboard via the Access Center. S I Shift N E R R E T
Thank you for watching this tutorial.